Hello today's video we have the following content. Zhao Liying announced the good news in a high profile manner late at night. The whole network exploded, congratulations, I finally waited for this day. When it comes to the most surprising couple in the entertainment industry, Zhao Liying and her husband deserve it. They went from announcing their relationship to entering marriage and welcoming the arrival of their children, which was really remarkable. After their relationship was exposed in 2018, the couple got married in the second half of the year and welcomed a lovely boy the following year. When everyone thought that Zhao Liyin and Feng Shao Feng would spend their lives together, an accident happened. They officially announced their divorce in 2021. Although Zhao Liyin and Feng Shao Feng did not reveal the real reason for the divorce, it is likely related to personality conflicts, because there have been no related rumors in the three years since they got married. After returning to single life, Zhao Liyin regained her previous state, continued to improve her performance level, and launched a series of outstanding film and television works. Although Zhao Liyin is now regarded by the public as a powerful actor, her personal life has never made any progress. Unexpectedly, on the evening of October 20th, Zhao Liyin solemnly announced a good news, which made fans excited. Flash marriage and flash divorce. On October 6, 2018, Zhao Liyin posted a shocking news on social media, publicly admitting the fact that she married Feng Shao Feng. Once this news was exposed, many netizens were shocked, because it only took a few months for the two to get married after their relationship was exposed. The news that the two were together also caused a series of controversial discussions on the internet. Some people think that Zhao Liyin is not a first-line big star at present, but just a slightly well-known artist, and marrying Feng Shao Feng is just her using the resources of the rich. Others think that Feng Shao Feng took advantage of Zhao Liyin's fame and claim that they were not actually in the same age group, and that Feng Shao Feng was a typical old man chasing a young girl. Neither Zhao Liyin nor Feng Shao Feng responded to the public opinion on the internet, but just focused on their own lives and did not take these remarks to heart. However, the storm has not subsided, and a new wave has come. Zhao Liyin and Feng Shao Feng welcomed their lovely son in just one year. In the entertainment industry, if actresses give birth too early, it will have a great negative impact on their careers, which will affect their appearance, figure and temperament. Faced with these troubles, Zhao Liyin did not seem to care too much. Perhaps she once believed that Feng Shao Feng was the one who could accompany her for life. After getting married, Zhao Liyin seemed to have lost her pursuit of career and focused entirely on family life. She was either taking care of her children or on the way to pick them up. Feng Shao Feng is very satisfied with his current life. Whenever he is free, he will accompany Zhao Liyin and her children for walks and shopping. The picture looks particularly warm. When everyone thought that Zhao Liyin and Feng Shao Feng would grow old together, they unexpectedly announced their divorce in 2021, and Zhao Liyin voluntarily gave up the custody of her son. Perhaps this blow left an indelible shadow on Zhao Liyin. She looked very tired when she returned to the screen again, and her former spirit had long disappeared. During this relationship, Feng Shao Feng seemed to show opposition to Zhao Liyin, and asked frankly in an interview, Do you really like me, or are you with me just for marriage? As time passed, the news of Zhao Liyin's divorce from Feng Shao Feng gradually faded, and Zhao Liyin has also walked out of the haze brought by this marriage. Nowadays, Zhao Liyin's roles in film and television works are almost always the heroine, and her acting skills have also improved significantly, and she has won many honors. Seeing Zhao Liyin's current situation, people feel happy and also feel very sad about her bitterness along the way. Because many years ago, Zhao Liyin did not have any supporters or help from big figures, but was just an insignificant little role in the crew. Strong woman in the circle. Unlike some second-generation stars in the circle, Zhao Liyin was just an ordinary woman from Langfang, Hebei from a peasant family before entering the entertainment industry. Because Zhao Liyin liked to watch TV dramas in her childhood, she had the idea of acting in her heart, and felt that it was a very glorious thing to be able to appear on the big screen. Due to the family's financial difficulties and her lack of knowledge of celebrities, Zhao Liyin's dream of acting stagnated for a long time. In order to reduce the burden on her parents, Zhao Liyin worked in the sales industry after her graduation. Although the income was not high, it could at least provide some support for the family. Zhao Liyin originally thought that she would never be able to realize her dream of being an actor in her life, but her fate changed in 2006. In this year, Zhao Liyin participated in competitions held by multiple media and TV stations due to fate. 
With the support of many netizens' votes, she successfully attracted the attention of Feng Xiaoya Gang and then entered the acting industry. Zhao Liai knew the preciousness of this hard-won opportunity, so no matter what the role was, she was willing to perform it, even if it only required a few short lines. It was not until Zhao Liang played a role in New My Fair Princess in 2011 that her acting career really began to develop smoothly. With the love of netizens, she subsequently got the opportunity to play the heroine in many dramas. Especially after the broadcast of The Journey of Flower starring Zhao Liang, she quickly emerged and became a hot star. She has played the leading role in every film and television drama since then. In addition, Zhao Liang rarely participates in various activities. She puts all her energy into acting, which also makes her look a bit maverick among the actresses of the same period. Just at the Weibo Night event two years ago, Yang Mi, Zhou Donggyu, Nini and others laughed and seemed very happy, while Zhao Liang was alone, staring blankly at the surrounding scene. There is an old saying that people should look at things from a different angle after three days. Today, Zhao Liang is no longer the little supporting role with no background before, but has become a first-line star. In the late night of October 20, 2024, Zhao Liang also officially announced a good news, which made fans excited. Good news announced late at night. Just two days ago, the 32nd China TV Golden Eagle Awards was held grandly, and Zhao Liang, who had just won the Fishan Award, was also nominated for the Best Actress of the Golden Eagle Awards. On the stage, Zhao Liang wore a white dress, which made her look both elegant and noble. When she gave her acceptance speech, she couldn't help but shed tears. Just at 49 am yesterday, Zhao Liang shared this good news late at night, expressing her excitement about winning the Golden Eagle Award for the second time. For this scene, netizens praised Zhao Liang. Some praised her as the most dazzling flower of the post-85s, and others said that she had an excellent reputation in the entertainment industry. Zhao Liang deserved to win the Best Actress of the Golden Eagle Awards again. Her usual words and behaviors, as well as her persistence and love for the performing arts career, are all examples worthy of our emulation. Next news. Zhao Liang won the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress for the second time, and the star's reactions were so wonderful. Wu Yu and Li Qin ran for the award with bright smiles. In front of her is the Fishan Award, and behind her is the Golden Eagle Award. She won two Best Actress honors in one year. It must be mentioned that Zhao Liang is really above others in this round. In addition to these two TV drama awards, she also won the Best Supporting Actress Award at the 100 Flowers Awards. According to this trend, the Best Supporting Actress Award at the Golden Rooster Awards can also be bravely expected. From another perspective, if she really wins the Golden Rooster Award, 2024 will be called the Zhao Liang year in the entertainment industry. What's more, this is her second time to win the Golden Eagle Award. In the entire entertainment industry, there are very few actors who can win this award twice. Although the Golden Eagle Award is not a particularly shocking major award, it is not easy to win it. Just looking at the list of those who have been nominated every year but have never won the award, it really makes people sigh it's amazing. Especially this year's nomination list is simply a master fight. Li Yulin, Li Qin, Wu Yu and Tang Yan, even the Queen Zhou Sun was defeated by her. It is important to understand that these people are not supporting roles without any reputation, but strong men with outstanding strength. Frankly speaking, although Zhao Liang is worthy of the name, these people are indeed a bit regrettable. For example, Tang Yan, who has been with her for a whole year. It is not surprising that Tang Yan was nominated for the Golden Eagle Award for her flower. Her performance in flower is so good that even passers-by who don't know her have to praise her. In order to perfectly interpret this role, she spent three years without taking other scripts and devoted herself to the discussion of this role. During the broadcast of Flower, Miss Wong seemed to buy a house on the hot search and once topped the list. Relying on this role, she was nominated for the Best Actress in three major TV drama awards from 2023 to 2024. Unfortunately, Magnolia met Liu Yifri, and Golden Eagle and Fishan also met Zhao Liang, and they could only become foils in the end. However, at the Golden Eagle ceremony this evening, she was not the only one who was lost. It is indeed a pity that Liu Lin failed to win the Golden Eagle Award. Her work The Glory of the Fathers also showed strong strength. In theory, works like this and these actors still have a high chance of winning compared with young flowers such as Zhao Liang and Tang Yan. But she is indeed a senior in the entertainment industry who is not very lucky. More than 20 years ago, 
Not long after she entered the entertainment industry, she successfully won the honor of Best Actress with the movie Going Home for the New Year. However, now that 20 years have passed, her situation does not seem optimistic. It has to be admitted that age is indeed a factor. In this industry that relies on youth, her performance opportunities have gradually become fewer. At the same time, her acting career also seems particularly tragic. Over the years, during the filming of TV series, she has been nominated for the Shanghai Magnolia Award, Fission Award and Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress many times. However, every time she was nominated, she never won the award. Maybe it was really a bit unlucky? Compared with Lee Kin, who also came to run with her this time, she seems to be much luckier. Through the Road of Life cooperated with Chan Zio, she successfully won the nomination for the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress. Although she did not win the award in the end, her outstanding works have indeed increased a lot in recent years. From celebrating Union in 2019 to The Sea in My Dream which was launched in the same year as The Road of Life, and The Wind Chaser which will be launched in 2024. In short, Lee Kin is not worried about the lack of excellent scripts or popularity at present, because these works are extremely popular. Even if she did not win the Golden Eagle Award, her topicality is still very high. Moreover, when she participated in White Deer Plane, she had already won the Magnolia Award for Best Supporting Actress. The nomination for the Golden Eagle Award can only be called adding bricks and tiles to her booming career. Zhao Liying was able to stand out among many competitors, not relying on luck. Judging from her works over the years, her talent is also quite amazing. If it was Zhao Liying 18 years ago, I'm afraid she couldn't imagine that one day she would beat Zhou Sun at the Golden Eagle Award. Looking back, Zhao Liying was just an unknown ordinary person in the entertainment industry. Who could have expected that the advent of the journey of flower would instantly make her a star that everyone is paying attention to? At that time, Zhao Liying was like Snow White who accidentally got the magic shoes, and her whole person was radiant with dazzling brilliance. She successfully won the Best Actress Award at the 28th Golden Eagle Awards for her role as the lively, cute, tough and brave Zaya Ogu in The Journey of Flower. As soon as this news came out, it immediately caused heated discussions in the entire entertainment industry. People were all amazed at how this round-faced little girl could have such a charming appeal. Zhao Liying herself was also very surprised, and she must have been smiling in her heart. Since then, her acting career seemed to have turned on the fast-forward mode and flourished rapidly. The 32nd Golden Eagle Awards came as scheduled, and Shao Liying returned majestically with The Wind Blows Half Summer. In this drama, she played the female warrior Su Bangsha, who struggled hard in the business world. Her fighting and courageous spirit was amazing. Zhao Liying interpreted the role of Su Bangsha very well, and it made people feel that she was Su Bangsha. When she learned that she had won the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress again for Wind Blows Half Summer, Zhao Liying was so excited that she could not contain herself. She stood on the podium like a triumphant general, bathed in the cheers and applause of everyone. When Zhao Liying won the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress, the reactions of many stars at the scene were amazing. Zhang Kylie was so moved that tears came to her eyes when she served as the award presenter, and her admiration for Zhao Liying was beyond words. Wu Yu and Li Qin, as nominees for Best Actress, did not win the award, but their smiles were still bright. Wu Yu showed an extraordinary temperament and her performance has always been highly praised. Although she did not win the award this time, her mentality is admirable. Lee Kin's emotional control is very good, and she always has a smile on her face, without any signs of loss. Zhao Liying won the Best Actress Award twice, which is undoubtedly a major leap for her. In 85 Flowers, Zhao Liying's position has been further consolidated by winning the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress twice. Frankly speaking, as a post-85s, she has gradually shown her potential to become a leader. During this journey, Zhao Liying has experienced a lot of hardships. She has grown from an unknown little actor to the current two-time Golden Eagle Award Best Actress. You must understand that the competition for the Golden Eagle TV Queen is definitely a tough battle and has never been easy. All actresses are like concubines in the harem, doing their best for the dazzling trophy. Zhao Liying's outstanding performance in Wind Blowing Half Summer made her a popular actress who has received much attention. Other actresses are not far behind, Li Yulin, Li Qin, Wu Yu, Zhou Sun, Tang Yan, which one is not talented. Take Tang Yan as an example. In recent years, she has continued to work hard to improve herself, gradually changing from a silly and sweet type of role, and her performance in Flower is quite outstanding. 
In order to stand out in the competition for the Golden Eagle TV Queen, publicity is essential. And Lincoln, although she is not young, her acting skills are also very outstanding. Playing a clown in the road of life requires courage that not ordinary people can possess. In order to gain the recognition of the judges in the audience, I really tried my best. Wu Yu's performance in the county party committee compound is very outstanding, and she is almost exactly the same as the female leader in real life. However, the competition today is insignificant compared to the past. Xiao Shuang, Wang Fuli and Qin Yi, the first Golden Eagle TV queen, are all outstanding figures who can be called goddesses. Xiao Shuang, the name itself is full of power, and her performance naturally exudes extraordinary charm, as if she is the treasure of the TV series, and she can overwhelm the audience as soon as she appears on the stage. Wang Fuli's strength is also quite outstanding, and her acting skills are very good. It feels that as soon as she appears, the whole picture is shining. And Ken Yi is really a senior artist, elegant and generous. The style of TV dramas at that time was far from being as fancy as it is now. They were all solid stories, and the strength of these protagonists was also very outstanding. Entering the 1990s, film and television actresses were all wearing a wave of trendy trends. Zhang Kiley's performance and desire is also unforgettable. At that time, the themes of TV dramas began to diversify, from rural dramas to urban dramas, everything could be played vividly. The 21st century is even more of a contest of the century. Sunli successfully created a strong queen image through works such as The Legend of Zhen Huan and The Legend of Midayu. Through Jade Guan Ian, she won the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress in 2004. Her opponents are also very outstanding. Wang Ji, Chen Hao, Zai Mi Jun, and Yi Ping are all extraordinary figures. Liu Tao is also unwilling to lag behind. She successfully won the 27th Golden Eagle Award with the older people. Don't think that actresses are only glamorous in their careers, their emotional lives are also rich and colorful. Take Yin Tao as an example. This sister has experienced many twists and turns in her emotional journey. After the end of her marriage, her ex-husband was sentenced to prison. Later, she had a love affair with Den Zhao, Sun Donghe, Li Jinayu and others. This emotional life is really more fascinating than a TV series. There is also LV Liping, who married Sun Heian three times. They were once in the limelight, but now they seem to have disappeared from people's sight. Xiao Shuang became the first Golden Eagle Award winner at the age of 25. She pursued her husband but divorced because of filming. She still remains elegant and lives alone. For every actress who works hard in this field, the Golden Eagle Award trophy symbolizes the audience's affirmation of their work. Many people always have doubts about the fairness of this award. In the previous era, when Xiao Shuang and Qin Yi were together, there would be no such complicated things. With the continuous development of the Internet, public opinion has become increasingly difficult to control. In addition to the quality of the work, popularity has also become an important consideration for awards. Due to the controversy over the ownership of this award, there has indeed been a lot of criticism on the Internet. Although the discussion in the comment area has heated, the value of the Golden Eagle Award is unquestionable. Zhao Liying can be said to have achieved fruitful results this year, and it is no exaggeration to describe her as dominating the entertainment industry. However, the competition in the entertainment industry is indeed extremely fierce, and new strong people may emerge at any time. Will Zhao Liying continue to hold the Golden Eagle Award for Best Actress, or will she be overtaken by new competitors? Let us wait and see. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,